what is going on youtube this is vice speaking and welcome back actually i have no place to be saying welcome back but listen listen there's a reason that i've been gone for so long a lot of things have been going wrong i guess you could say we had to get a whole new wi-fi modem because our wi-fi is trash the laptop that i usually use just up and died on me i had to restart it and I was also in the hospital for a long time. So my apologies for the huge break, but I am back and today... I'm sorry, but after that long break, Vice, I gotta roast you. So I'm gonna start up a game and I'm gonna give you guys five ways that I am a terrible Splatoon player. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing that makes me a terrible Splatoon player is that I have a terrible habit of blaming everything on terrible teammates. And it doesn't matter how good I do or how bad I do, my excuse for losing always happens to be my teammates are just trash. And it's kind of uncalled for because when you really think about it, I'm, I'm nowhere near the best platoon player. I just happen to be in a competitive team, but I've been getting better, but I'm still not great, you know? So I don't really have a place to be blaming everything on everybody else. And I should basically just check myself in a lot of situations. So for number two, I have a terrible habit of overextending in any given situation. Now, I know I just didn't do it right here, but like, let's just say like we're pushing as a team and I'm, I'm like in the other team's, oh my gosh, I'm in the other team's spawn and I have no reason to be there and it contributes to a lot of my deaths. So it's, it's a habit that I, I have to break at some point because it doesn't help anybody. It's, it's just really stupid in my opinion. Um, number three, I have a, a fence-sitter playstyle, which is really weird to say, but um, I don't commit to a lot of things. Like, sometimes I'll be overextending, sometimes I'll be playing super defensively, not even going near the other team, and it's, um, it's definitely not a good thing. I'll give you an example. I was twinning with one of the dudes on my team, and he wanted me to try out some new weapons, so I was trying out the, um, the splatter shot, just regular. And he noticed that a lot of the times I would I would lose trades, I just wasn't getting anywhere. And he asked me um, something along the lines of, when you challenge somebody, are you 100% confident that you're going to win that altercation? And obviously my answer was no. And that's the problem, like, you can't go in challenging somebody not confident in yourself. That sounds like it won't end good. And most of the time, it doesn't. So definitely, I mean, it's it's easy to say, not easy to do, but I definitely should um, work on committing. If I'm going to play defensively, then play defensively or offensively the same way. Number four, I have like three mains and some other weapons that I use, but I don't really expand upon my arsenal of weapons. And I only bring this up because um, obviously if you watch Dude, he has this point where he says like, he doesn't really agree with mains like you don't need a main you shouldn't have a main because you're gonna need to play different weapons on different maps and modes and I completely understand that and that's one of my biggest problems is that I'm only used to playing with th these like certain three weapons like slashing machine 52 gal and maybe something else and it's just not good if you're definitely if you're on a competitive team because at that point you're hindering your team because oh you're not comfortable playing this weapon or you can only play this weapon. And it's just not good for overall. It's it's definitely in everybody's best interest to expand upon the weapons that they use. Alright, so number five, I always, it fits perfectly, I always seem to die in the most stupid ways. The most absolutely not necessary, totally avoidable ways. But I always happen to die. And, um, I roll the clip. But anyways guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a like rating, and if you really loved it, then be sure to subscribe. But with that said, I'm gonna let the outro do its thing, and I hope to see you guys in a future video. Peace!